I'm as, as minister of Florida, if he would come and give the prayer, and then we'll have that, that little mini sermon, and then we're going to crank up exactly where we want to be, and we're, we're going to have a Holy Ghost time. Amen? A Holy Ghost time. Good evening, everybody. Amen. Isn't it good to be in the house of the Lord? Just one more time. Amen. Those who are happy to be here, I need you to stand up and give God praise. Amen. You are here this morning. Amen. You're here this evening. You woke you up this morning. Amen. I'm telling you right now, you did nothing to be here. Amen. So the thing about grace is that it's undeserved. Amen. We've done nothing to earn it. We can't pay him back, and there's nothing we can do. Amen. To give him what he's given us. So we're thankful that we can be here just another time. Amen. To give God what he so deserves. Amen. We're going to look to the Lord in prayer. Amen. And to say, Father, we're so thankful. We're thankful for life, health, and strength. Yeah. We're thankful for your continuous blessings, graces, and mercies, Lord Jesus. Those are the things that we have, have done, but the things we have not done, Lord Jesus. Forgive us for all of our sins. Continue just to look past our faults, to see our needs, Lord Jesus. Continue just to create in us a clean heart that we may not stray against thee, Lord Jesus, but continue to remember the things that you've done, Lord Jesus. Help us to not look what front to what's behind us, Lord Jesus, but continue to allow us to see what's ahead, Lord Jesus. Lord, let us have a forward mind, Lord Jesus, a spirit that allows us to see what you have ahead for us, Lord Jesus. Thank you for all the things that you have done or doing and continue to do in our lives, Lord Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Again, it's so good to be here today. And I'm just thankful and I'm honored uh, for Deacon Carver joining to ask me to come here and ask our church to represent uh, you all here as well at Cox Memorial. Amen. My name is Minister Vincent Floyd. I'm from My Savior's Way, amen, on Carver Street. Um, and when I was thinking of what to say here today, you know, one thing that came to mind when we think about a deacon service, amen, is that we're all supposed to make each other better, amen. And what came to mind was that one phrase in the Bible that says that iron sharpens iron, amen. So I'm thankful that I can continue to be sharpened, not just by those that are here today, but those who God has put in our lives, amen, to just make us better, amen. So I just want to give you a quick little word here today. I won't keep you very long, amen. I'm just talking about what it means to sharpen one another, amen. When we talk about iron sharpening iron, amen, there are several principles that we have to keep in mind, amen. The first principle is a principle of motivation, amen. To be motivated, amen, for something to be, for you to be compelled to do something, amen. So it says, when iron sharpens iron, it says, so one man sharpens another. Amen. It says, this, uh, this testament contains an object of sharpening action. Amen. But the goal is that when we sharpen each other, we motivate one another. Amen. We motivate each other by our actions, by our examples. Amen. By our testimonies. Amen. The things we've been through, the things that we are going through, and the things that we can say that God has taken us through so that we can help others see their way through, amen. Our next principle, hey, amen, is the principle of willingness, amen. If you have motivation, that's great, amen. You wanna do something, that's fine, but are you willing to see it through? That's what willingness is all about, amen. So willingness means that we are cooperating with one another, amen. We are pulling each other in the same direction, amen. If you have one that's willing and one that's unwilling, we are going in different directions, amen. amen. We're not going in the same direction, we are pulling, we are resisting one another, amen. And I don't know about you all, but no place grows with resistance, amen. We grow with resilience, but not resistance. I'm so thankful that we can continue just to be resilient with one another. We can see what each and every one of us have gone through and say, you know what? Maybe I'm not the only person that's going through it, amen. But when we pull from each other, rather than pushing each other, amen, then we go nowhere. We stay in the same spot. So I'm so thankful that we can all have a spirit, amen, and a principle of willingness, something that allows us to keep going even though we don't feel like it, amen. 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 We're thankful for that. 
One other thing I want everybody to know here is that the Holy Spirit gives us a spirit of conviction. Amen. Conviction meaning convinced. You know that you know that you know. Amen. You have seen it. Amen. You have lived it. And there is nobody here that can tell you what God can and cannot do in your life because you've seen it happen in real time. Amen. I need somebody that you believe in me. I say, just clap your hands and say, I have been through it and I know what God can do for me. Amen. 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 The Holy Spirit gives us conviction so we can sharpen one another. Amen. And when we talk about sharpening one another, we get our sharpened through the word. Amen. But if you have not gotten your word, if you have not been sharpened by the word, how can you sharpen somebody else? Amen. What are you sharpening them with? Amen. Is it your opinions that you're sharpening them with? Because I promise it won't take you far. Amen. It is through the Holy Spirit and the word. Amen. That keeps us sharpened. Amen. It is the word where it starts and ends. Amen. So it tells us, amen, so God uses the wounds of a friend, amen, to sharpen us, motivate us, and provide accountability for our lives, amen. But says true victory and lasting progress can only come from God himself, amen. So look, don't take the word from me, amen. Know it for yourself, amen. I can tell you what God has put me through, but until you have decided that you want to believe for yourself, amen, you can't be as sharp as you want to be, amen says that the progression steps in this text, it tells us that it is profitable, amen? Amen, well something's profitable, that means that we get more out of it than we put into it, amen? I, I want more out of God, amen, than what I put in, amen? Because the reality is that I can't give him back what he's given to me, amen? So I'm hopeful here today that God can give me as much as I need, amen? Because I can't get it from anybody else, amen? Somebody say amen. I can't get it from anybody else, amen? Continue everybody here as I, as I close out today. Just to be to sharpen one another, amen? And I'm not talking about men sharpening men. I'm talking about church bodies, sharpening church bodies, amen? Just as Deacon Joyner was kind enough to allow me to come here and hopefully sharpen somebody here with the word, amen? Continue to sharpen one another. Build each other, amen? Have a spirit of togetherness, amen? Know that you, you need one another, amen? None of us make it here alone. In fact, we don't make it alone because God never intended for us to be alone, amen? He gives us each other so we can lift each other up. We can catch each other when we fall, amen? We can keep each other warm, as the word says, amen? It says, where two or three are gathered in my name, amen. Somebody heard the verse before? It says, there I am in the midst of them, amen? So just by the word alone, you need more than you to be able to make it, amen? Continue to compel others. Pull them, have them draw near, amen? Because when you draw them near, you draw them near to God, amen? And God, he says he loves, he said, don't despise the small beginnings because he loves to see the work begin, amen? The work begins in each and every one of us here, amen? So I'm just so thankful that I can just see work begin and continue, amen? And to be motivated, as the word says, to do what thus says the Lord. I'm, I pray that everybody here got a little bit of a message. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. And may God add a message to the word given forth here today. Thank you. I believe I'm a little sharper than I was a few seconds ago. Amen. One thing I want to be when I walk in the church this morning, I want to be a little more knowledgeable when I walk out that door. I want to remember what the pastor said. So if somebody even asks me, I, at least I know what was going on. Because if, you, if you're in there and you say, I don't remember, I don't know. That's, you know where you're coming from. I, I remember there was an old joke, you know, that the fellow was saying, he says, this minister, he said, look, uh, next week, we're going to Psalm 151. Everybody said, all right, all right, all right, all right. So the next Sunday, they came back, and he said, could I show, show hands to everybody that, that read Psalm 151? Hands went up. Hands went up <laughs> all over. And he said, uh, what Bible were you in? <laughs> I 
did that for one reason, because there is no Psalm 151. We have to be sharp, even if you're in the pulpit, you have to be sharp, because you are the leader of the group. So we're going to go on with the program. We have uh, our own Nicole Chambers, this is Nicole Chambers here. And she's going to give the welcome address for everyone. After the welcome address, our faithful, loving Ms. Judy Ross is going to stand where I'm standing. And she's going to be our MC for today. A little bit better MC than I am. She's been doing it a few more years than I have. She don't have that many more years on me now. She's just been doing it for a long time. I got a few more days. I'll be 76 myself. So that, that's just around the corner. And that's going to be a blessing. Because a blessing, if you make it to 70, it's a blessing. One second after 70 is icing on the cake. I'm enjoying my icing. Amen. Amen. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. We all walked in here. We might have had a little aches and pains, but we all walked through that door. Amen. Nobody was pushed, and we came out here to give God the glory. So we welcome you to Cox Memorial for Little Baptist Church, where you're in a place where you can have liberty. We want to be able to shift the atmosphere, let the Lord's Spirit come in here and do what he needs to do. Amen. Amen. If, you, if your partner, your, somebody beside you hindering you, say, can you just give me a little room? Just give me a little room so I can do what God needs for me to do. Amen. Amen. If it's prayer and you need it, it's in here. If it's healing and you need it, it's in here. If it's deliverance and you need it, it's in here. Amen. Amen. Don't leave out the same way you came in. Right. We have all kind of uh, uh, amenities here that can help you. We have a bathroom in the back. We have a bath. We have bathrooms downstairs. And if you need us, just let us know. But let us continue on having a good time in the Lord. Amen. Amen. All right, evangelists, it's on you. Somebody can respond. Good evening. May we give a house to the Lord. We say a welcome when we walk through the door. We thank you for that warm hearted welcome. I don't know what y'all came to do, but I came to lift him up. How about that? Did you bring him with you? Amen. Gotta take him everywhere you go. I've been doing this for quite a few years, so. Deacon Joanna, and I want to say thank you for seeing something in me. Amen. The things I used to do, I don't do no more. Come on, somebody. Come on. New life. Amen. Amen. We're going to get started. Uh, before that, I need somebody to play for me. They always like for me to sing this song, and I'm going to do it short. Amen. Amen. Sister Okay. <clears throat> this is this is my signature song, and I love it. Amen. How many rolls this morning by themselves? 
Amen. I'm going to get on with the program. And we have quite a few groups and want everybody to participate. I want you to clap your hands whether you know them or not. You're doing this for Jesus. Come on, somebody. When I got up this morning, I had my health and strength. At last, I was able to walk. Amen. 
But I know everybody don't praise him like everybody else. We all have our own particular ways that we praise God. And at this time, we're going to get ready for the, for the singers to come. Now, when they come, I want y'all to give them a clap. Don't just clap for certain ones. Jesus is all over this building. Can I get a witness? Amen. We didn't come to sing to them anyway. We came to sing to Jesus. Y'all ain't talking to me. Y'all don't tell the truth. Amen. I told Deacon, Deacon John, I said, the 9th of June is going to be a reunion. And God be it just what he said. There are people here I haven't seen in a long, long time. And they consented to come. Ain't that a blessing? Come on, let's give the Lord some praise. Ain't he worthy? Can I get some witnesses? Know that God will make a way. Amen. You know, we used to work in those tobacco fields and we got hot and sweaty. And if you come in here, you might get hot and sweaty. But it'd be for a good reason. Can I get a witness? He woke you up early this morning. Amen. Y'all mighty quiet. I, I love to talk to noisy folk. Amen. When we was in the clubs, y'all know we was noisy. Y'all know. I don't have to tell you. Stayed there all night long. Amen. How many stayed there all night long? Some ain't raising their hand because they shame. Oh, I stayed there all night long. I ain't had no shame in my game. But I got Jesus now. And that's enough. Amen. 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 I'm happy about the Lord. I don't know about you. He brought me this far. I know he ain't going to leave me now. Amen. Give all the roots even before they come. Give them a great big hand. Amen. Give somebody a clap their hand. You know they don't belong to you. Come on. They belong to Jesus. At this time, we're going to call the first group in. As I said earlier, clap for everybody. Don't wait to one get an old, oh, that's my favorite group. If they sing it for Jesus, you ought to be glad about it. Because none of us didn't have to be here. Amen. We don't have rule on our lives. Nobody but Jesus. Y'all get, get mighty quiet. If Lee Wheeler walking through here, everybody be hollering. Amen. Come on, somebody. I know I'm not Lee, but I know Jesus, too. Uh, you ought to be happy that somebody know the Lord. Amen. He going on to be with the Lord, and I don't know where he's gone, but he's not here. But we ought to give credit what credit is due. People give certain ones credit, but they forget about the others. Those that are out there working hard and doing different things, they don't, they don't want them. I got a lot of my learning from Aunt Ruth, Ruth Cook. Do y'all remember the Cook of Four? Amen. 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 At this time, I'm going to Leesburg, North Carolina. Want you to put your hands together for none other than the heavenly stars from Leesburg, North Carolina. I've been knowing this lady for a long, long time. And when I call her, she didn't say no. Ain't God good? I don't know about y'all, but I feel something. Ain't he all right? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Give him another hand. Leave for a thing right around the corner.
So there's no reason why we can't make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Where the blood is coming from our blood in our faith. We praise the Lord. Join in with us.
give him another hand all the way from Leesburg, North Carolina. Which you, have you enjoyed thus far? Come on, give the Lord a praise. We gotta keep it moving, amen. Amen, we're going to Pittsburgh, North Carolina, bringing the spiritual tones. Give them a hand as they come. Thank you, heavenly stars, for coming. Amen. To God be all the glory. Glad to see you. Amen. Hadn't seen you in years. Amen. But she didn't turn me down when I asked if she would come. And they are here. Give them another hand, if, if you will. Amen. This is a spiritual tone for Pittsburgh, North Carolina. Stay right here in the city of Durham, VHM, and Fresh Anointing. Amen.
I don't know about you, but I can't even walk without holding my hand. We're going to bring to you looking back, and then Brother Herman going to come around and give uh, some of his choice. We're so glad to have Herman with us today. Sister Wendy, she came in joining with us for a little while. We're so glad to have her. We're going to bring to you looking back. I can see how far I come. I can see how far we come. A few years ago, to COVID, to church being down, and now we're going to so pray for.
blood. And that's just a little what he knows. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand praise. I still see some hands. Be still. But I ain't got a clap and I'm telling you, we don't know what the next second or minute comes for. Amen. Amen. We're going to stay right here in the city of Durham. I want you to put your hands together. Give them a warm welcome, TMV and Second Generation. Come on, give them a And after which will be VHM and Fresh Anointing going all the way down Capital City Jubilees from Raleigh, North Carolina. Amen. Are you enjoying yourselves? Amen. Ain't nothing like a good old fan. Y'all know we used to use bushes when we was out in the country. How many used some bushes with the fan and the table? anointing will be there. Well, it's going to be a slew of them. We're going to have a good time. As I spoke this to the, in the open, God made it possible. He can make things possible. All you got to do what you do and give it to him. Come on, somebody. Amen. You pray about it and leave it alone. I found out a long time ago. You cannot get ahead of God. Get ahead of God, Amen. We're gonna have an announcement now. Sister Bobby Val, setting up, TMV setting up, Sister VHM and Fresh Anointing. We're gonna have our Three Fathers Day uh, Day Jubilee Day Jubilee 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 and Hoover Road, over there where Phil's Skate Arena is. Uh, appreciate on that. It'll be TMV, second uh, uh, generation, to get ready to come up. Uh, of course, BATM and Fresh Anointing. We have the uh, Voices of Faith out in Hillsboro. The New Styles of Faith, the Matt Shaw's out in The uh, uh, Morgan Avenue Baptist Church, uh, Mel Course. Jubilant of the Carolinas and many, many others. Come on out for a day of food, fun, and fellowship, and be blessed. Thank you. This is coming Saturday, June 15th, from 1 to 5 at Merrick Moore Park. to give you another warm welcome to TMV and Second Generation from Durham, North Carolina.
Oh 
and I get a witness today. You just continue to bless us. While they are getting ready, I'm going to make this announcement. Um, right Touch Promotions present Taking the Music to the Streets. This is coming up Saturday, September the 28th, 2024, with parade starting at noon. Musical refreshments from 2 p.m. until 7, car and bike shows. They will all have, also have some guest singers. That would be Legacy of Henderson, North Carolina, the Clark Specials of Lauren Bird. And if you want to see this promoter about this, she's sitting in the back. Sister Frances Watkins. Sister Frances, where are you at? Frances Malone White. White Malone. There she is. Another promoter back there. Amen. Come on, let's enjoy Jesus. Let's give him a praise. Come on, he's done great things for us. He's doing it right now. Amen. Able to see. Able to walk. Amen. If you feel the spirit, he's blessing you right now. Amen. I'm not going to say we got a short ways to go, but we got a ways to go. Amen. At this time, we're going to remain in Durham, North Carolina, after which will be the capital city, Jubilees, and the Raleigh. The AGM and Fresh Anointing from Durham, North Carolina. Come on, put your hands together. At the window. After the camp of the city would be changed from Durham, North Carolina. The famous Jordanias. Remember James Little, Pettyfoot Brothers. Amen.
think about what he's already done, what he's doing, and what he's going to do. Amen. We're going to sing a song. It says that Jesus Christ is the way. How do you know that God is the way? Jesus Christ is the way. He's the way, the truth, and the life. It says, no man see the Father. Nonetheless, you come through the Son. Amen? Amen. What do you think about the words of the song as we sing it?
say this real quick, Brother Jerry. You sent me a message. Would you stand, please? Jerry, are you here? How you doing, Miss Francis? Yeah. You can make your announcement now. He you know, once was a radio announcer, I believe, in Raleigh, North Carolina, 103.9. Am I correct? Okay, I know who you are. I'm a radio announcer myself. <laughs> You gonna make your announcement? Oh, okay. You still in Raleigh? Yes. Hello, everybody. I'm, I'm Jerry Smith, formerly with the Light One Hundred Three Point Nine. Yes. Um, God has blessed me to launch my own company. It's called JAS Consulting and Entertainment. I have a streaming internet radio station called Favor Ninety Seven Point Three. Uh -huh. So you can find it at Favor Nine Seven Three Dot Com. Twenty Four Hours of Gospel. And a lot of people wonder what happened to me and what am I doing now. Well, this August will be my 40th anniversary of radio. I know I don't look that old. I know people are rusty, dusty, and crusty, but God is keeping me. Amen. And so uh, this year will be my 40th year as a professional broadcaster. And uh, coming up June 30th, I put together a concert for a local church here. Luther Barnes, Wes Morgan, a talented young man named Marcus Jordan, uh, Sanina Barber, and the McDonald's sisters. Who say it. <laughs> so it's going to be June 30th. It's called Gospel Explosion 2024. Tickets are available at eventbrite.com. So I uh, hope that you guys will come out and support my endeavors and everything that God has blessed me to do. What's the name of the church?
But I'm somewhere everywhere. I like going. I love doing God's work. I do it every day through the week. On Sundays, that's my time. I have an outreach ministry. Are you all ready? Let me know. I don't like to waste time. I like to keep it world. All right, I want you to listen.
So Father God, as we begin to take up this offer, God, this offer is to uplift and build your kingdom. It's your kingdom, God, that we uplift. So God, we ask that everyone would give deep, deep in their pockets. But give what your heart says give. Give what God tells you to give. If you have other bills, you know you have other bills. But give what God says give to this house. Take care of your business. Take care of God's business. These and many other blessings we ask you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.
you ready for some more singing? Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise again. Amen. We can't praise him enough. He has done great things for all of us, keeping us alive. Amen. 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 At this time, we're going to stay right here in the city of Durham. We're going to call none other than changed. Give them a hand as they come. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you. 